Good day, tennis fans, and welcome to Tennis Now's Countdown Show. If you tuned in last week, then you saw our top 10 prize money winners of the WTA. Once again, we'd like to remind you that this countdown is based strictly on prize money, and that competitors these days make more money than they used to. So with that being said, let's take a look at the top ATP money-making millionaires. The hard-hitting American Andy Roddick has won 30 career titles, but has only won one Grand Slam. So how has Andy Roddick made so much money? Although Roddick hasn't won as many titles or slams as the rest of our countdown, he's a frequent competitor and usually makes it far into the tournaments he competes in, which usually earns a pretty solid purse. Over his career, Andy Roddick has compiled $20.1 million. One of the finest serve and volley players to play the game, Swede Stefan Edberg won 42 titles and 6 Grand Slams, totaling his prize money to $20.6 million. Currently the coach of Andy Murray, Yvonne Lindel was a winning machine. Playing for both Czechoslovakia and the United States, Lindel won 144 titles and 8 Grand Slams, bagging $21.26 million in the process. The Russian legend Yevgeny Kafelnikov only won two Grand Slams. So how is it that he's on the seventh spot of our list? Well, Kafelnikov was an intense doubles competitor, winning four doubles Grand Slams and numerous titles. Although doubles don't make as much prize money as singles, Kafelnikov still made $23.8 million over the course of his career. German Boris Becker is a six-time Grand Slam singles champion and the youngest ever winner of the men's singles title at Wimbledon at the age of 17. Becker won 64 titles in his career, making $25 million along the way. American bad boy and tennis legend Andre Agassi takes the five spot on our list. Agassi won eight Grand Slams and 68 titles, making $31.15 million. Serbian phenomenon and current world number one Novak Djokovic has won five Grand Slams and 29 titles in his flourishing career. The 24-year-old has made $35.25 million so far and is certainly going to make a lot more. American tennis stud Pete Sampras won 14 Grand Slams and 60 titles. Sampras's consistent, powerful, all-court game boosted him to the top of the world and helped him earn $43.2 million. The Spanish King of Clay, Rafael Nadal, has dominated 10 Grand Slams and 46 titles with his physical play and aggressive counterpunching style. Nadal is a true athlete and competitor and has made $46.3 million thus far in his career. And now we come to the top spot on our list. If you haven't guessed it by now, we'll give you a hint. He's won 16 Grand Slams, 73 titles, and has shattered records across the board. The maestro, Roger Federer, is our number one, winning $68.3 million. That concludes our countdown. Check us out at TennisNow.com, and be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter for up-to-the-minute updates. And subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can see when we post new content. As always, thank you for watching, and have a great day.